Hey guys, I'm back. Hello. So a couple things. The first thing I'm going to mention is, so I decided to make me some of my decaf coffee because I wanted my creamer and some whipped cream. And, and yes, I'm still drinking it, 22. Um, I just looked over and saw this. <clears throat> Cast your cares to God. This is going back to other videos I've done, but let me speak about this first. Um, so I have a, I don't know what you call it, it's just a carafe, and it has a, the metal mesh thing, and I put your coffee in it, and then you pour hot water in it. Um, I noticed there was bubbles in it, and I've never seen that before. Yes, it could be, although this isn't the first, yeah, but the bubbles. Anyway, I know, it could be soap in the pan, but I've already used it. Whatever. The point is... 144 is... So, what I... this What I said was... Oh, it's like soap or something. Well, does it taste like soap? And, I, and my answer was 202, and this is the most... This is the point of it. Well, I wouldn't notice it in small increments to 11. And with everything I put in it. Then why wouldn't you pour it out? 222. Two, two. Because I wanted to. But that's not my path. So whatever that means to anybody, it's not saying... These are like, I guess, metaphorically speaking, okay? Not like this is an actual thing. I'm not telling you if you think someone's poisoning you um, to drink it or eat it. It's not what we're saying at all. I don't believe, anyway. No. I saw 606, but it was really 306. I'm, it's on the stand, and it's all jacked up. So cast your cares on God. And I heard, and I was writing, sitting this way. And my phone was over here. <clears throat> I was sitting off over. And I wrote 1244. And I turned around and looked at my phone and it was 1244. So, 333. So that's, that's a sign and a sign, I heard. Again, I'm getting Matthew 522. You know my other videos that it might be uploading now. I don't know if that's the one, but you know when when we when I talk about like I saw that truck. I just put it out there, cast it to God, put it out to the universe. Like that'd be cool. I'd love that would make a cool home. <clears throat> so then I cast my cares to God. You've been on this journey long enough. And, hi, my name is Serena. And, um, we are Neo, right? New Earth Oasis Builders. Neob. <laughs> Um, that's what you're doing now. You're casting your cares to God. You're taking heed. You're paying attention. Um, but it's also 
come to your attention that <clears throat> anything thrown at you, words, energy, whether it's directed energy, how, if you guys don't know about all that, then I'm not going to get into it, but, um, no matter what's thrown at you, remember this also, that the creator of all things knows all things, just, you you know that, I was just a reminder, I guess I had to tell myself. <clears throat> that even the people, even though you went through hardships and stuff like that, and maybe people were doing spells or thinking things or the government or whatever it is. Five, five, five. That was all for your growth. It's not how it was coming out earlier. The way they played it in my head earlier was just totally different. Same but different. So if I end up getting sick, then... Ah, there's fuckery in this. Five. Teaching about anger. Matthew 5.22, and it has a key. So that means down here, I think, or somewhere. The key down here. See note on Matthew 8, 11, and 12. Okay. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause, shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, R-A-C-A, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool. Why is that in? Okay. Shall be in danger of hell fire. 3474. <clears throat> Um, I just keep seeing Matthew 5.22, Matthew 5.22. Cast your cares to God. Don't be angry. It, it, it's all leading back, circling back to what? Love, 8.11. I'm not even going to go there. I'm to go to 8. <gasps> Excuse me. Eight eleven has another key thing. <coughs> and I say unto you, that many shall come from the east and west, and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. And they have a number next to kingdom. Um... That everything you've gone through in your life has led you, has led you up to this point. Is coming through now, and the basically it boils down to. I saw nine sixteen, so that's someone's birthday. What it boils down to is whatever was thrown at you. Um, it's not that it went through and I don't know how to explain it. Just know, cast everything to God. Let God be your guide. Let God run your human. A.K.A. your soul. 
and um, do that. <laughs> I saw 1004. <clears throat> We're just going to pull up the Chromebook because it's easier that way. Now, if I was outside. <clears throat> so maybe you're being shown bits and pieces and parts of your life and how it and how all the pieces fit together how what the purpose I don't know what everything meant or why I don't know it's going to be different I, uh, <laughs> that felt good anyway it's going to be different Ten four, good buddy. But we also have to look at ten o four. It's eleven eleven. I saw on them. And ten o o four meaning. Where can I put this? Eleven thirty three. That's another one. The angel number from the AI overview in numerology is considered an angel number, which is a repeating number, blah, blah, blah. The number 1004 is said to represent divine guidance and encouragement to pursue your goals with determination. Exactly. You're seeing how everything up until this point has led up. 1205. That's the... 5th of December, I was supposed to say. It can also be a sign to be aware of your thoughts and actions and to align them positively with your aspirations. Before I get into the Korean word, because the number 1004 is pronounced the same as the Korean word, chunsei, which means angel. So, cast your cares to God. Divine guidance and encouragement to pursue your goals with the determination. Let's do Matthew 10, 4. Simon the Canaanite and Judas Iscariot who also betrayed him. So Simon had been with him for a long time. And they betrayed him. So, you know, but Jesus knew that and he told them that prior to that, remember? So, <clears throat> no matter what is thrown at you, thank you, that was a great way of going about this. So, no matter what's thrown at you, even Jesus had the same issues and knew prior Your soul did too. It's just your human wasn't privy on it yet because your human didn't want to face that fact. It was a process. Thank you. It is a process. It's an ongoing process. It hasn't stopped yet. It's okay. Because the time is nigh. The time is always nigh. There's no real time. We keep thinking time is linear and, and, and anyway... So, even Jesus knew it's all part of the plan, right? That the prophecy, the words spoken, that everything be fulfilled. So, we're in the fulfilling stage. Okay, here we go. Hence being called, hence, you know, having the knowing and the intention and, and hence having to listen to your gut and the knowing, 1444, of what's real I'm getting and what isn't. I'm getting goosebumps all over. People bumps everywhere. What's real and what isn't real. What's human and non-human. 
I heard vagabond. That's why the whole vagabond thing. That's why things are coming up and around and, you know, <laughs> where's my red truck in the driveway? You know, like I just literally, maybe it's not going to be red. Maybe it'll be a different color. But the knowing that at the perfect moment, just like when you have bills to pay or, or, or something, I'm getting people bumps all over. When you have bills to pay or something, I don't know how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do this. And at the last minute, bam, you're taken care of. Something comes through. Something happens. Like out of thin air. Like it must be a miracle. Like it must be from God. Like it must be God always takes care of you. It's the human that can stop these blessings, I guess. And you were even asleep then. And you still were taken care of. Serena, there wouldn't be any homelessness. I can't speak for their journey. Neither can you. But if since you brought up the homeless, why not? Um, are you doing anything? Sixteen, sixteen. What are you doing with your old clothes? Just leaving them there, or giving them giving them to somewhere where they make so much money on? And where does that money go? Nobody cares. I did good. I got my paper. It's a write off. God knows your heart. All right, enough about charity and alms. Um, no, that's what we're all about. <laughs> so we're not going to be enough about charity and alms. I mean, that's literally what we're here for. Even so said it himself. Okay? Go read the Emerald Tablets. I can't. I can't read that. Whatever it's written in. Hmm. I heard Akkadian, and I don't know that that's true, but there's something written in Akkadian, and, um, well, some of us go, are, are ancient beings. Don't get the human of today misconstrued with, um, what's inside of it. But what about 1244? Yeah, it's three and it's eight, which makes 11. So that's an even number. Um, I don't know about getting into... Um, Matthew 12, 44. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out, and when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Read Matthew 12 on your own. <clears throat> it's talking about the Sabbath day and the Pharisees. But I want to get down to 43. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Verse 42. The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it for she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon and behold a greater than Solomon is here Yeah, this is huge. The 
queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. You know, everything they speak about, we can find these things. I, read Matthew 12. <laughs> I got chills all over. For yourselves. <clears throat> read the King James Version. Unless you can read um, Greek. I was going to say Egyptian. That's funny. Unless you can read Greek. Then um, read it that way. But, you know, cast your cares to God. God's taking care of you this whole time. Okay. I thought we were done with this, but no. Um, man does not live by bread alone, right? But the words that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. You're still think you're still thinking of the human man in in Jesus is talking about the spirit man. Right, Jesus. <laughs> right. Matthew five seven. <clears throat> Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. So again it, talking about how we treat people, how we go about the world. Um, it's supposed to be 6 through 8. Matthew 5, 6 through 8. Matthew six, 5, 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. That's why you brought me to this. <laughs> I love it. Blessed are the merciful, right? Verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. There's that heart thing again. Heart, 2211, weighed as a feather against a feather, right? Anubis, Egyptian times. They're speaking of coming home to that righteousness, 2222, to that God that's in you, to your soul. Being loved, being merciful, being kind, giving alms and charity. Helping one another. Just being. John Lennon, imagination says it all. Imagine, I mean. Imagine all the people. Yeah. Living life in peace. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. And what they do, they killed him. No, blah, 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 killed him. They killed him. They're getting ready to kill him. P. Diddy, I'm sure, because they're running his name through the fucking mud. So he did something to piss them off. Um, I'm hearing because a new one will arise. That one's played out. Same devil, new body. Things are running around. You know. You already know. But no, knowing, intention, and knowing, in, that inner knowing, 2332, that you have your golden egg bubble, your prism, your crystal shield, your your shield, God is shielding you. If something gets through, it's because it's meant to. Or not. Whatever. But when we shift our mind and shift the way we think and the way we view things, then our fucking reality shifts and changes. So if all you concentrate and focus on is love and you have love in your heart and you come to know these things and you're at peace regardless of the chaos around you, you've reached it. I'm about to shoot a video, I guess. I know I don't sound so thrilled, right? Ah, I didn't want it to be a video. It's just going to put it on a quotes creator and just... Send it out. And I'll probably do that too. But the next video is going to be about how you know you are growing. And, um, yeah, this was channeled. Oh, my shit is channeled. And, yeah, and we have to get into the angles and stuff. Here's the angles. Then I had something else. And that's when I had to look up pyramids and teepees and stuff. Oh. 
Shit. Just cut. You know, I went to write angles and I almost wrote it like angels. But what's the actual time? 1317, so that's 117. I'm stopping this video. It's at 25 by who knows what it'll be by the time I actually click it off. But um, I love you guys. Peace.